Hello students, it's Mr. Belay here. I um, have a new art project for you. Uh, now, you're gonna need your art supply kit for this one. So you're gonna wanna dig in this bag to find the supplies for today's art lesson. If for some reason you don't have this bag, don't stress. Um, you could do some kind of alternate art project, um, being creative, using whatever supplies you have around you. Um, to make it work, have a good art class and submit that to me instead. But if you got your art supply bag, let's do this. Now, originally, I was thinking that we would jump right into uh, grid drawing. And I got some handouts in there where you're actually going to be uh, getting an image of your, of your own and drawing it using the grid technique. i kind of rather teach that in person. Um, so instead, we're going to do a, well, what I was thinking is a Valentine's Day themed project. Then again, if you don't celebrate Valentine's Day or don't celebrate holidays, it could just be a nice card for whatever. Um, I put a really nice quality cardstock card that I got from a paper company. Um, and I'd like to use those for a good flower watercolor painting project. Um, I was thinking Valentine's Day, um, but it could just be for whatever you want. And we are supposed to be giving students more choice during this time. so. If you're not in the flowers, um, oh, I can't stand that. Okay, paint something else. Still though, watch the video because I want you to see the techniques of how I'm using this brush to get these kind of different, um, different petals, different looks to these flowers and use that in whatever watercolor painting that you're gonna do. But I'm gonna paint some flowers on these cards. Now, you're probably gonna wanna practice first. Get some, there's some paper in that bag. Practice it first because you only get one card, and it's not like you can break out an eraser and erase this. It's watercolor paint, so uh-uh. Now you do want to, of course, find your watercolor paint tray set. It does come with a nice rounded tip brush in there. That's what I'm gonna be using for this artwork, um, but there is also a flathead brush in there too for some nice uh, techniques. So I'm gonna switch the angle on this uh, view here so you can see me painting these cards um, and watch the techniques. All right, thank you very much, my friends. Okay, students, so let's get started. This first flower is gonna be the Black-Eyed Susan. Um, now, you do have two brushes here. I'm actually gonna recommend the rounded tip brush for this one, but you do have this flat head brush as well at your disposal, but that could be for maybe doing some background stuff or some other kind of images. I think on um, this rounded tip one is gonna be best for this flower here. Um, so, I do have a little paper towel on hand too because I wanna make sure my brush is clean when I switch colors and I was just practicing myself. All right, let's do this. So. On the Black Eyed Susan, I'm gonna start with putting some black for the head of it, um, like the center of the flower there. Let me move that out of the way. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna maybe I'll do a big one right here. So maybe actually more like maybe like an oval kind of shape there. All right, cool. Let's uh, get my brush clean, because I'm switching to yellow, and I don't want the colors to mix. I clean my brush. All right, I'm gonna zoom in on this one too. Let's do a little zoom in. All right, cool. So I'm gonna put yellow on here. Now these watercolor paints, you really gotta swirl that brush. If your paint's coming out super light, it's because it hasn't absorbed enough water. So really get it to suck it up. And notice I'm not dousing tons of water in there. I'm just adding some water, but it's the swirling. You wanna get that paint to uh, absorb all that water. Now, I mean, I could always test this on like a little paper towel or something but I think I'm good. So the trick here with this Black-Eyed Susan is you want um, a little variation in thickness of the leaves, the width there. So let me show you. I'm gonna hold my brush more upwards, so that's super sideways, more upwards. I'm gonna go very light at first, then I'm gonna push down and get heavy, and I'm gonna pull back up to be light again. I'm gonna zoom in even more, let's see. Can I zoom in more? Oh yeah, that's cool. All right, let's do some more. Um, so I know I'm not even touching the black. I don't want them to like blend together. So I'm just going right next to it. Let me try another one. Light, heavy, light. That's why you should definitely practice this on a separate piece of paper instead of just doing it right in your car to begin with because um, it's tricky. It takes a little practice. Now, the leaves do go all the way around, but the, the leaves are kind of sagging downwards. So I'm not going straight out like it's a giant sun. This next one, I'm gonna have to make a little shorter. So light pressure, heavy pressure to light pressure, but I didn't go the full way down. Let's try another one. Light pressure, super short. Maybe one more. 
and you got the idea that it goes all the way around. You just can't see it up there because of the angle you're looking at that flower. Let me add a few more in here. Light, heavy, light. Again, pressure and angle makes a big difference. Kind of having my brush more upwards. And I'm going light pressure, heavy pressure, light pressure. And I'll do like one more off to the side here. And they should get, I mean, I'll do another one. Oh, sorry, my hand's kind of blocking the angle there. All right, cool. So I got my, let me just, I can zoom back out now. Whoa, big time. Um, I could add, I can add some more of these if I want to, or I could add my stem. So let me clean my brush off, get some green going on here. And get a nice stem. Uh, now I know the stem does connect all the way up there, but we're pretending like I can't really see it. So I'll just have it kind of peeking out the side here coming down and let's do a, a cool looking big leaf same kind of idea with this one light pressure heavy pressure light pressure nice maybe i'll do one more cool and then yeah maybe you want to write happy valentine's day um or i love you or hey to mom or to grandma or maybe to dad i don't know whoever you want to give this card to someone that you care about Maybe it's your girlfriend or boyfriend. Ha ah. ha. Um, but yeah, maybe you could paint something nice up there. You know, like a good little happy Valentine. Maybe write a nice message on the back. Um, but there's your Black Eyed Susan. Now let me show you the rose. Okay, students. So here comes the rose. Again, I'm going to stick with that rounded tip brush. I like that one. That flathead brush is good too, but not for what I'm trying to do here. I'm just cleaning my brush up. I don't want to mix my colors at all. So yeah, we're gonna do a rose. So roses do come in different colors. I'm gonna stick with the more traditional red here for this. All right. Um, I start off, I'm gonna zoom in here again. I like the zoom in thing. Yeah, there we go. Um, kind of like a little number six. So let's try this out. Now again, I'm holding my brush more upwards. I'm painting with just the tip and I'm going pretty lightly. For like a little number six here. Now, I'm gonna start going around this number six. And I'm gonna use the same kind of like pressure thing like I did with the um, Black Eyed Susan where I kind of go very light pressure, then heavy, and then light again as I go around. So, um, let's see, the six is here. So I'm gonna go maybe a little bit above it and I'll do my next one. I'm gonna just do it like nice big curve. I'm pushing down, I'm picking up for that curve. I notice I'm getting some reflection from the camera or from actually the lights in the ceiling. Um, yeah, so sorry about that little reflection thing going on there. Now, the whole trick with this rose is as I add more, I'm gonna keep kind of like putting them really close together, but leaving a little space in between them. I'm going around them with these curving lines. Let's see, now I don't have much room between these two, right? So I'm gonna go a little bit behind it and go around that way. Let's see. Cool. Oh, another trick is if you look at a rose, it's kind of small or kind of thinner in the middle. And as you work your way out, the petals look like, like bigger. So I'm gonna keep kind of going bigger as I go around here. So let's see, I'm gonna start a little bit above this one. And notice, yeah, that's pretty big right there. Cool. Maybe I'm gonna turn this. That might make it a little easier for me. Ooh, that was a big one. I'm gonna keep, I'm hoping I'm not making you dizzy <laughs> watching this. I'm spinning this around. Ooh, big time. I'm happy with that one. Love that little spiky point I got there. Practice, practice makes perfect. I've been painting a while, so don't get to, hey, how, why, why is he so good? Dude, I've been doing this probably before you ever born, you know? Uh, I just love art, and if you love doing something, Keep doing it, and then you can just get better at it. Um, all right, so I think I'm coming near the end of my rows here. I'll do one or two more of these big kind of lines going around. So let's see, I'm gonna zoom back out. Yeah, I mean, that's looking pretty cool. Um, now, you know, like, here, let's see. You notice like this is like really light in here. That could be cool, or if you don't like it, you could always go back in there and like, like darken up areas. Or if something got a little misshapen, maybe you want to kind of go back in there and, you know, repaint it a little bit to fix the shape of it. 
But yeah, you can go back in and kind of play with those a little bit. You know what? I want an even bigger rose. I'm going to go around again. Yeah. This is cool. All right. Again, this is like a rose from the top too, not really from the side. I'm going to switch colors. Let's get a little, uh, let's get some leaves going on here. I know roses, they have a few leaves that kind of stick down right from where the, uh, the head of the rose is. So I'm going to want some kind of green leaves, kind of curt. Oh, I hate that reflection I'm getting there. I'm sorry, folks. Um, leaves kind of like they're starting out round and they kind of get like a little pointy as they go out. Here, I'll do like one more. And I want to do a stem. Get my stem coming down. And ro um, roses do have thorns. So if you want, like maybe just go super light. Zoom in. Boop. And do some little thorns on there. Right? Isn't that crazy that something so beautiful can hurt you if you're not careful? All right. So I'm feeling pretty good with this one. Again, I'm going to paint a little something up here. Maybe you could do some stuff in the background. And you got yourself a beautiful Valentine's Day uh, card. Okay, students, so now it's your turn. Um, good luck in your paintings. Practice first before jumping into the main cards. Um, share your work with me, whether you're painting the project that I'm teaching you, which is the flower kind of card project, or whether you're just watercolor painting, or maybe watercolor painting isn't your thing and you're gonna just do a completely alternate art project. Got to share it with me on Canvas, though. Um, so make sure you go back to that homepage, and if you didn't remember how to submit it, go to Art Lessons, hit the Submit button. There's also a little how-to video that I put together as well. All right, thank you very much.